week one of the fantasy football season. And here's a few kickers. I have a sleeper this week. The first guy, Blake Grupp of the New Orleans Saints. So right now, Grupp, he won the kicker's job in training camp. They traded Will Lutz away to the Denver Broncos to reunite with former head coach Sean Payton. And right now, he's available in 98% of fantasy weeks. So this ball game can have a decent amount of scoring between the Tennessee Titans and the New Orleans Saints this week here. It's an indoor game, which obviously is always a plus. And like I said, this guy, he won the job over the veteran Will Lutz, who's been a great kicker for the New Orleans Saints. So obviously there's something there. And with a decent matchup and indoors, I definitely have grew up as a sleeper. This week, the next kicker, then Aubrey of the Dallas Cowboys. So Aubrey, they tried out a bunch of kickers in the offseason, but Aubrey won the job, and he's pretty much hasn't had any NFL experience at all. So right now, he's on a high powered offense over there with the Dallas Cowboys, where we know a lot of field goal attempts were available last season. And Brett Maher, he was good for the first half of the year for the Cowboys. Then he started to struggle a little bit, and then we know the story in the playoffs, missing all those field goals, even though it didn't matter in that Tampa Bay Buck game. So right now, in a division matchup at the New York Giants, where it's going to be tightly contested, and I think both kickers with Graham Gano and Aubrey, Aubrey are going to have a decent amount of attempts in this ball game. We'll see who can hit the most field goals, and that might be the difference in the ball game here. So right now, obviously, if you stream kickers, whatever the case may be, if you're looking for a deep sleeper guy this season, Aubrey's definitely one of those where he's on an offense like the Cowboys. And we did see in preseason, he did hit a 59-yarder for what it's worth. So right now, available 97%. Of fantasy leagues and he's a sleeper this week and the third and final kicker i have is a sleepers will lutz of the denver broncos i mentioned lutz early in the video that beat him out in training camp but right now he's with the denver broncos we know the altitude's always a good thing for the kickers where the ball carries and he's reunited with sean payton so obviously sean payton wanted him but the only downside is he's going from a dome to mostly all outdoor games this season, but right here in week one, it's a division matchup versus the Vegas Raiders. Their defense isn't all that great. I think the Broncos can have a few field goal opportunities in this one. And if you're looking for a kicker in a deep league, what obviously an upside to score possibly double digit fantasy points. Lutz could be that this week for fantasy owners. And he's out there right now in 92% of fantasy weeks. That's a few kickers I have as sleepers for week one of the fantasy football season.